Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we are going for part three. In previous tutorial, we missed one assignment that is grid beam. In grid beam, we will select the beams. This, then assign this one grid beam auto select section assign. Okay. Now we will go for slab thickness determination. Here we can see 15 feet and here 13.67 feet is the maximum span area to consider the slab thickness. So 15 here 14 this half of this portion 7 feet and here 13.67. So as far the book of Nielsen this one design of concrete structure Nielsen by Nielsen here slab with beams on all side this is the calculation method we have prepared this excel according to that and this excel you will get in the tutorial or video named get the important excel you need from decode pd if you search in this name you will get that video under that video in description you will get the google drive link for this excel so let's go for the depth slab thickness design here for example is beam depth width 10 inch depth 15 inch slab l long side it is 15 feet and short side 13.67 15 13.67 x 7 feet that means half of this side slab and slab thickness trial for example 5 inch so h minimum is coming 4.31 so this trial is ok so we can consider 5 inch slab thickness for this full floor area so go for define slab thickness this one we can modify is 5 here 5 inch 3000 psi click on ok now quick draw floor one option is like this like this then another option from here to here like this and this quick draw this is coming like this here we will draw our stair so this portion I will take like this now define and copy for stair market st we will take 7 inch for example 7 inch for stair thickness ok now i will come here we have 12 feet for ground floor height we will divide this ground floor height into 3 parts because we have slab or uh, stair this way this way and this way so two landing will be there so it the height will be divided into three parts so for uh, 12 divided by 3 it will come 4 feet so after 4 feet and 8 feet two reference plan we will take modify show grid system reference plan add here 4 feet uh, bottom here 6 feet foundation depth so 6 plus 4 it will come 10 feet l1 at and 6 plus 8 that means 14 l2 from the 
basement this height is total height is coming with reference of this base point from base to grade beam it is 6 feet so that's why we are adding 6 plus 4 feet 10 feet and then another 4 feet 14 feet click on ok ok now go to here reference pan 1 we will take one line here none line draw snap option perpendicular apply like this from here to here like this here we can draw our landing beam this 10 by 15 like this we can provide landing beam at the landing level or we can provide landing beam uh, stair beam along with the stair so we can choose any one of them i am going for this landing beam option from here i will take a stair like this then from down we will select this one here here go to up here to here right click finish here we can see the stair in 3d now we will go to another portion here Here also I can provide another landing beam here or here any one side we can provide this landing to support the landing in this case we will provide here as the stair is going in this direction so here I will draw the landing in this way from here to here like this now from here to here right click here the stair now from here to here right click done so this is our staircase now we can delete our auxiliary lines that means null line okay this is done now we can select everything from this ground floor we can replicate it to above floors so this floor one will go for two three four up to nine or we can go to up to ten no problem as it is roof we will provide different load in the roof but configuration structural configuration for beam slab is we will keep same so up to ten we can replicate okay So up to 10 story we have modeled our structure in e tabs. Now I will go for stair head option. Here I will add story at for example 8 feet stair head. Click on OK. Choose different color. ST TOP stair top click on ok now here we will delete all other things
from here. This is still also delete. Done. We can provide our slab in this portion like this. Here for different different portion we can divide this slab also or now we can divide this one. like this and select this one now divide this so this is done so modeling is finished in the next tutorial we will apply loads so thanks for watching stay tuned for more tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update